A person has better angles than a bag. Most people hit gloves just for the sake of hitting something. This is the moment I feel it stopped. Boom, then I'll throw my shot. The goal of this drill is to have a real life target that I can visualize, I mean that I can feel. A person has better angles than a bag. So that's all we're doing and I'm just placing the right part of my body onto the right part of the, his body. So let's do that. We're gonna do it slow. And you can do a few like a few hit combos. So I'll do like three, four, five, then it'll be your turn. And for now, you're just gonna stand there. So just make it real easy. Pop, 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 go. Pop. That's it. All right. All right, so you can just play around. Go, go through them, experiment. So sometimes you want to go very, very slow. You should just start off slow. So if you're throwing a body shot, for example, and it's, it's a little bit off, take your time here. I'll rotate it, hit it right in the spot. Make sure that the, my hips go into the roof, I'm pivoted. So just like fix your technique. Do it really, really slow. And I'll do another, another one. So, oh, yep, I'm hitting the right spot. Let me do a knee. That looks, that feels all right. Let me extend a little bit. So just little adjustments like that. Go back and forth with your partner uh, and do that. Then once, once you get comfortable, then add in a flow. So you want to just uh, do like two, three, four hit combos, but nice and fluid and with rhythm, do it slow though. Like slow with rhythm is better than fast and erratic. So let's try that. I'm going to, I'll start first. Same pace. So when you do rhythm, it just means same pace. So don't go like, for, for, you know, like something slow, then one fast and one slow. Just try to be like, think of it like casual, like you're just walking. I'll do one more. Just kind of like you're walking. See, I just kept it the same, the same tempo. You could try one. Good. So you can go back and forth doing that. Then, then after that, you can pick it up a little bit. Um, and, and one thing to make sure you don't do is don't hit the gloves unless, unless you're, 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 um, unless you're doing it on purpose to set something up, like I'm throwing my hands just to get your hands up so I can come in with a body shot or something. That's an exception, but most people just hit gloves just for the sake of hitting something. So please don't do this. We're here. Then throw a kick. Pick your shots. I, I aim for a, aim for a target. That, you don't want to hit gloves. You hit the body. So get around the gloves. That's your practice. Another huge mistake that a lot of people do is if I throw a kick check, that's not good. When you have shin pads, it doesn't hurt, so there's no consequence. But, but you, gotta, you don't want to train to do that, just collecting checks. That's going to bust you up. That's, that's bad. If I throw a kick and you block it, that's bad for me, good, good for you. So you, you don't, you wanna, you don't wanna train. Uh, you don't wanna be lazy in training and not pay attention to that because however you train is how you're gonna fight. So, you know, there's only one way to do things and that's the right way. So get around the checks. So let's say I throw a kick and you check. Boom, so I just did a fake. So ha keep that, always keep trying to do that. Don't, don't, don't hit your partner, your partner's blocks and hands. So you're always aiming to hit the targets, whatever they are. So now we'll go back and forth a few uh, combo. I'll, I'll do like two, three, four hit combos. You do the same and we just kind of flow. And, and aiming to, to hit the target and it doesn't have to be fast. Go, your turn. Good. Good. That's it. One more. Bam, bam, bam. All right. Then the next the next level would be um, one can add defenses, uh, or you could do a good one is countering, like practicing firing off as soon as they finish their last shot. So sometimes, like let's say you're you're, you're blocking or you're defending, like someone's throwing a, a flurry. Uh, Usually you can tell when it's their last one. It's kind of, 
there's a rhythm to it. You know, bah, 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 bah. If, if you if you pay attention, you'll you'll notice there's a rhythm to the partner or your opponent's um, shots. And while while you're defending, you should be getting ready for your counter. So let's say they're throwing their stuff, whatever it is, and then I'm blocking, but I'm thinking I want to come back with the a big right hand to the body. So I'm preparing it as I'm defending. So let's say let's say I'm, I'm defending, defending, and I'm like. This is the moment I feel it stopped. Boom! Then I'll throw my shot. So you can practice it in in this drill. While you're while you're doing your flow and your um, you know you're hitting me in the right targets, I'm just there, sitting there. Don't worry about defending. Like do one thing at a time. So so you can practice and it's easier. Uh, and then you put it all together. So in this case, I'm just going to stand there and I'm just going to try to pay attention when it's his last shot. And as soon as it's, it's his I feel it's his last shot, I'll fire off my straight right punch, for example. So give me your, your shots hitting the right target. So I'm just practicing that. And that makes a big difference. We'll do one more. So I throw you whatever you're gonna throw. And then I come back with my, my shot. Play with that, bring it into sparring. It's gonna, it'll make a big, huge difference.